It's time for Lemonade Mouth Movie Reviews! When I was like 12 years old and someone asked me what my favorite film was, I used to say, Lemonade Mouth, it's kinda indie, I don't think you'd know about it. To anyone claiming this isn't the superior musical Disney Channel original movie, I'ma go full Stella on you and spit some lemonade in your face till you've come to your senses. They drank more lemonade in this movie than I have in my entire life. Ten-year-old me thought a sip of that lemonade could fix me, and I still think so. I actually think this is a movie about a bunch of kids who accidentally drink severely expired lemonade from a dusty old machine in the basement of their school, and then proceed to hallucinate not only a successful singing career, but their own revolution taking place based solely upon the message and iconography of lemonade. How else would you explain a band of teenagers performing in Madison Square Garden after a mere few weeks of existing, and the extremely random part of the story where they all got injured or sick at the exact same time? Wendell dropped that frame in his own eye while he was on some lemonade. Mo and Olivia got sick in their throats and chests because of the freaking moldy lemonade of which they drank about four cans a day. They put up all the ridiculous posters supporting their revolution around the school themselves. Why were all the other students staring at them and talking to them like they were weird? Because they were weird. They were hallucinating on old lemonade all the time. Me in high school, like, listens to Lemonade Mouth soundtrack, listens to Lemonade Mouth soundtrack, represses gayness, listens to Lemonade Mouth soundtrack. High School Musical is pretty gay, but this is the weird gay kids high school musical. Disney movies make it out to seem like the majority of high schoolers can break dance, and like 30% of them can also do backflips. The Breakfast Club wishes they could do what Lemonade Mouth did in detention. The Beatles wish they had such a meaningful and important song like Determinate. Lemonade Mouth played Madison Square Garden before One Direction. That's so freaking crazy. How is a boy who looks like Niall Horan going to bully me? Like, okay Ellen DeGeneres, I'm busy. Why did I never question the band name Mudslide Crush as a kid? That's the most random stuff ever. One star, very reductive of athletes and their feelings and experiences. My favorite character is the boom operator they left in the movie during More Than a Band. What a performance by that guy, am I right? This soundtrack really helped me romanticize my life when I was eight years old, looking out the window while my mom drove on the highway. I think everyone wanted to be in a band after they watched this movie. We really did fail as a society when we didn't let Bridget Mendler become a main pop girl. The best part of this movie is Naomi Scott emotionally singing to her reflection in a napkin dispenser. She's So Gone by Naomi Scott is greater than anything by your fave. Sorry, I don't make the rules. She's So Gone This, She's So Gone That. I want to hear the hype for Don't You Wish You Were Us! There was a girl at the Halloween party dressed as a toilet. Lemonade Mouth performs the most benign, vague protest song ever, and the principal acts like they ripped the Pope's picture on live TV while showing their nipples. This is a perfect film. Haley Kyoko be like, Question authority, save the whales, or vegetarians rock t-shirt for today. Me, a lesbian. Stella is very clearly gay. Just look at how she dresses. My family. That's homophobic parallel experience to when I told my mom people call Haley Kyoko lesbian Jesus, and she said, That's so mean! Stella threw the first lemonade at Stonewall. No one. Drummer characters in movies. Ba-dum bop, bada boom, bit a boop. Charlie going into a full breakdown after Mo friend zones him. Yeah, I get it. Charlie, my brother in Christ, you broke your finger, not your freaking hand. Lose the freaking sling. The guy who plays Charlie was 13 years old when he filmed this. What the? Are you ready to learn how to rap? Kanye gulped. Kendrick shivered. Lin-Manuel Miranda nodded. He yes, went from the lemonade, lemonade mouth. What if when was short for Benjamin? If I opened up about my parents being absent in my life and this girl started to play guitar, I'd actually end my life. That being said, I don't know how any of these characters made it. 
Imagine how much better this could have been if Disney gave it a theatrical release and actually kept the more mature themes from the book. Give me PG-13 Lemonade Mouth where Olivia's dad is in jail for manslaughter. We need Lemonade Mouth 2, but the adult version. I want to see lesbian Stella, when addicted to crack, and Olivia having a solo career with a rock album. Hello? 911? Yes, hi, I'd like to report a robbery. Someone stole Lemonade Mouth's Oscars and the band's Grammys. A double whammy. <laughs> that rhymed. N no, don't hang up. I wanted to watch a bad movie. And I failed. Lemonade Mouth. L is for lesbian, Stella. E is for earth, on which we live. M is for music, which we love. O is for this group of outcasts. N is for Nirvana. I know Stella got some Nirvana vinyls. A is for complete and utter anarchy. D is for down bad, Charlie. E is for 11, 10, 9, 8. M is for mother, Bridget Mendler. O is for orange hair, when. U is for urine, which will be yellow as heck from all that lemonade. T is for determinate. H is for she's so gone, Mo. Thank you to everyone who suggested I read Lemonade Mouth reviews, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.